Alright guys, well, a lot of you guys have been following me since the start of this build for the Derby car. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to run it. I'm just not going to have time. Which really, really, really sucks, given the amount of work I've put into this thing. So, I have to sell it. <laughs> which sucks even more. Uh, well, if I have to sell it, it means I would like to sell it and I want someone to run it. Um, but, having said that, if... Um, I don't get a decent offer for it. I'm not going to sell it. I'll hang on to it and try and run it to Christmas or next year. So it's basically complete. As per my last video, you guys saw, I haven't done much. I've done a little bit more welding. All you'll have to do, whoever buys it, uh, it's going to come with the, the uh, harnesses. I've got driver's helmet or helmet for me. If that fits you, welcome to it. Otherwise, um, obviously you have to buy your own. It's got uh, gloves, uh, all the cage, all the electronics, as you see here. Um... It basically comes, yeah, there's my helmet down there, basically comes more or less ready to run. That barbecue plate on that side just needs to be welded in a little bit. There's one on this side here, which this one here was just put here to um, sort of make sure there was room for everything to fit and all that sort of stuff. This one here has to be made bigger, uh, a bigger plate in there. Having said that, because this seat here is so far back, it wouldn't be a silly idea to flip that plate long ways and put it at the back there. Uh, all the doors are chained, the back's chained. It, you don't need to if you want to. There's sections ready to be spot welded if your rules allow for that. Uh, I've got enough chain that'll come with it. Enough for four tie down points on the bonnet. Um, this car's been scrutinied already, or pre scrutinied So there was the plate. There is this mount here. This was put in as a placeholder. So I knew where the seat was going to sit. This has to be re braced with a proper thick you know, plate and stuff, so it's a bit safer. Uh, what else was there? Had to cut the, which I already had to do anyway, finish cutting the rails off the seat there. Have to make a cover for the fuel filter. Um, I think that's about it. There was very little left to do. I've got the um, tyres I have finally got done. They now have light truck tyres on them. Six ply sidewalls, eight ply tread. I was going to get an angle grinder and cut grooves in there to give yourself some more grip, but not necessary, but it'd be helpful. Um, comes with the fuel tank, which itself is 50 bucks for fuel tank. Pumps another 50. There's $50 worth of cabling and wiring in there. And hose, those Anderson plugs are 25 bucks each, or 20 bucks each. There's 50 bucks just in that control box sitting there. Look, I'm asking like 700 for it. Um, it seems like a lot, but don't forget a lot of the stuff you can reuse. All the most of the steel for the cage can be reused. Control box, uh, fuel lines, power lines. The battery is a hundred and hundred and what hundred and sixty nine dollar battery on its own. So um, the fuel tank can be used. The cover can be used. All this chain can get reused. There's fifty bucks in chain. So I don't think 700 bucks is too much to ask when you think how much there is that's reusable. Uh, I've put a thermo, I finally decided to put a thermo on it. Not that you really need it, but I figure if you can keep the temperature as cold as possible to start with, you might buy yourself another couple of minutes at the other end. I'm not going to start it again, you guys know it's run. You've seen my previous videos. Just remember, I'm, I'm in Ipswich in uh, Queensland, in Australia. Uh, there are a few derbies coming up. There's the Ipswich show, there's Laidley show, there's Bow Desert show. Uh, there's Grafton, Lismore, all within you know an hour or so here. There's a, a dozen shows coming up in the next few months. I'm just running out. I've just run out of time and I don't have time to do it. I've got other commitments, unfortunately. This is really, really annoying. Um, I'm really looking forward to running. but So it's set up, obviously, for a two for a two-person derby. So it'll run either a one- or a two-person. Um, go back and have a look at my previous videos if you've got any questions. i fixed the shift selector, so that's not going to break anymore. Uh, I'm pretty sure all I had left was, um, yeah, oh, there's foam up there for padding the bar, so if you want to pad the um, the bars with that. Done the tyres. The only thing I really want to do is the hand throttle, which I haven't got around to doing. Uh, the harnesses are all there. Um, fuel, fuel to cover I've got to do. Obviously, you got to paint it all up, all that sort of stuff. I've even got a bit of tin to uh, put the roof number on. Um, it's up to you if you want to weld the diff. I was going to, but I ran out of time. All the wheel weights have been removed. Pad bars, make camera mounts, which I obviously think you're doing. 
Uh, I was going to seam weld it. I started on the other side, but on the front doors because I could do that in this class. But I'm just putting a patch on them with the chain. They're not going to go anywhere. Uh, yeah, thermo fan. I mean, it's zip tied on. It's only going to last a couple of hits anyway, so it's irrelevant. It's just a. It's a. I mean, it works fine. It's just out of a VN Commodore, so it's only going to last a couple of hits. Probably break that off. Short of that, which is why it's got a circuit breaker on there, so it doesn't really matter. It's just going to trip it. All the vacuum lines have been disconnected from the brake booster, all that, so you do have brakes, you just got to stand on the pedal pretty hard. Uh, this is just a breather, so it doesn't suck water into the motor if when the radiator goes, and mud and crap. Um, yeah, so make me an offer, guys, um, if you're in the area. But, uh, as I said, sadly, it's got to go. I don't want it to, but I'm out of time. I'd much prefer to see if it doesn't sell, it can sit here till next year. So don't lowball me, guys. There's a lot of effort put into this. I've put a lot of hours in here. The materials, no great deal. There's, you know, probably, you know, there's a few things. Like, I got the steel really cheap, but if you were to replace it, you would not be able to get it for that price again, generally, unless you know where to look, maybe. And even then, it's getting harder and harder to get. So, yeah, the scrutin me was pretty happy with most things. As I said, just got to finish welding the cages. Um, I really don't think, yeah, tyres are all done. They're ready to go. I really don't think there's anything else that needs to be done, pretty much. Spend a weekend on it and you'll have it done. All right, guys, uh, so I'll leave it up to you. But um, this will be my last video on this car, unless whoever buys it sends me a video that I can put up and show you how well she ran. I reckon it'll be great fun, unfortunately. I can't do it, which really sucks. Um, so, all right, guys, I'll leave it with you, but um, I guess I'll catch you next time. Bye.